you know, salt is, is what makes our food have extra flavor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, that's sodium, it's salt, and we'll dig into this a little bit more, but salt is often seen as a contributing fluid. Salt really becomes an issue because it drives Hi everybody, welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopathic Dr. Fiona Chin, co-founder of the Kidney Disease Solution, Kidney Coach Kygenesis, and I am joined again today by the wonderful, fabulous Jessie Anna Seville. If you haven't seen Jessie Anna before, she is the director of Kidney Nutritional Institute and the head renal dietitian there. Jessie Anna has been in the field for a long time. She often speaks at... Um, educational events, training nephrologists and other renal dietitians about all things diet and renal function. Uh, she's quite the expert in the field and she's been on our channel a lot for a very good reason. So Jess, thank you. Welcome back to the channel. So the first thing is salt. What is it? And do we actually have to worry about it when it comes to chronic kidney disease? Is it a consideration when we're thinking about our diet? Okay, so I would say... Uh, number one, what is salt? I think we all know, you know, salt is is what makes our food have extra flavor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> sodium, it's an electrolyte. Uh, it's really, really an important nutrient in our body. It gets demonized. So it's like, oh, don't don't need any salt if you have kidney disease, but it is such an essential nutrient. We all need to have some sodium in our diet. And the form by which we get that is one thing we'll talk about tonight. It's a big deal with kidney disease on multiple levels for the before you like causation factors of kidney disease. Salt, and we'll dig into this a little bit more, but salt is often seen as a contributing part of developing hypertension, certainly a driver of hypertension for some people. Um, then if you have kidney disease, there's a lot of things that come into play with salt um, and how it drives your kidneys um, uh, glomerular pressure on, mm -hmm. on top of blood pressure on top of, you know, a bunch of other things as well. Um, there's even some studies and that showed salt was connected with gut health. So there's that whole factor. And then if you have late stage or even end stage kidney disease, and now you have to watch fluid, salt really becomes an issue because it drives thirst. And so for people yeah. that need a fluid restriction, it can be a really big problem. So really like the whole spectrum of uh, kidney disease from before you get it and contributing factors all the way to if you've had kidney failure and you're on dialysis or even gearing up for transplant, salt plays a big role, plays a really, really big role. So I think the other important thing to say in that is people may not realise, but salt is added to everything, isn't it? Like all your commercial foods and stuff, the way they make it taste good, sugar and salt. Yeah, yeah, sugar, sugar and salt. It, I mean, it's such a huge part of a, a food supply. And I mean, even historically, salt has always been a really, really important part of food preservation. It's been a really important mm -hmm. part of flavoring i mean salt is as old as old can be from the beginning of the time you you talk about salt but in a modern day in our modern day food supply in industrialized you know in countries salt is really used a lot in processing um and we develop a taste for it our taste buds adjust to it it's used in restaurant foods i mean any good chef salts at every step of cooking, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's it's really prevalent in most of our food supply and most of our diets. Yeah. So I think that's the first thing to mention too is people may go, well, I don't add salt or I don't eat a lot of it. But if you're eating processed packaged foods, if you turn over a can of soup or anything like that and you look, you're going to see salt added. And then in the uh, nutrient panel you can see how much sodium is in there if you want to know more about what jesse anna and her team do at the kidney Nutri nutritional institute um kni.org i'll put the website link below if you want to know more about what we do head to www.kidneycoach.com you'll find us on facebook and instagram under those handles as well make sure you hit subscribe and like that way you will get notified anytime we put up more content and if you have questions for jesse anna or there's certain topics that you want us to cover please put it in the comments Comments below and we will make sure that we add it to our list of videos and podcasts to create 
Jessiana, thanks again for your time. As always, your expertise and your knowledge. Always appreciate you. And for everybody listening, thanks for being part of our community. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye.